Hey everyone, today I'm working on a Ford 6.4 turbo diesel. This one happens to be an 08 model. I'm going to show you how to bleed the fuel system in it. Now if you go right back here on top of the cooler, you'll see some banjo fittings where the fuel lines connect to. And this line right here is the one that you're going to be removing. You can take the fitting off and either take it down to your local diesel shop or, you know, to the dealership and just show them, hey, you need one of these banjo fittings. So once you get that banjo fitting, you can either take it home and drill the center of this to where you can tap it and then get one of these fittings on it. Or most diesel shops, like in Oklahoma City, there's one downtown that deals with a lot of diesel things that sold me this right here, where they've already tapped the inside to the correct threads and it's a perfect uh, fit for it. So now all you have to do after that is go to the local hardware store and buy this. Now that piece was $1.29 for this. This piece right here was $14 already drilled. Now whenever you buy it like this, it was like $6 for this piece right here and then you had to tap it. But it's just so much easier and quicker for you to just spend the other money to go ahead and get it already uh, tapped perfectly. You know, this uh, fitting right here is a little bit taller, so it takes up the slack, so you don't have to worry about cutting the end of the fitting. Now, the diesel shop did not have this. I had to go to a local hardware store to get this little nipple, and then I also got some clear tubing to fit onto that nipple. Now, this tubing right here was only uh, like 40 cents a foot, and I got 10 foot, so it cost me uh, $4 for that and a dollar for this. So, you know, it's under $20, you know, by the time I buy this right here now there is a specific tool that you can buy like uh, rotunda I think or you know a couple of other brands has it but you know if you just want to hurry up and, and make it yourself it's really simple to do so the next thing that I do is I just set it in a vise and I get the little fitting and then I put some thread tape on it and I go ahead and thread it in snug it down So once you get it snug down, you go ahead and take your line. Let's see if I can zoom this out a little bit. Take your band clamp, put your band clamp on there, put your plastic line on it. Push it down, get it down around that, and then get your band clamp on there. So once you get your little hose clamp on there, then you're ready to go ahead and put that into the uh, fuel system on the truck. Now while I was down there at the diesel shop, I went ahead and got a couple spares, uh, quite a few brand new seals for this, some uh, just regular copper washers, which I'm gonna be using just the regular copper washers for the bleeding procedure, because I don't want to ruin any of the, the ones that's gonna be on there permanently. So once you have your fitting off here, just make sure that the area is clean before you remove it. But then you can go ahead and take your new fitting, make sure that the seal's around it. Now, yes, you could go ahead and put this on before you put the tube on there. I just wanted to show you how it was on the bench, so I already attached it. And I just have to twist the hose now while I am putting the attachment together. So, watch right here, where I just go right through there, put the other washer on underneath, and then go ahead and start screwing it down. Now mine happens to be an 18 millimeter, so that's what size wrench I've got out. It's really not hard to do with the tube on there. Just spin it on until you get it snug. So once you get down there to where it's snug, then go ahead and snug it up with your, your wrench. Now I did get 10 foot of clear hose, but that's in case I needed some extra, I always get extra because if you get too short, then you're out of luck. So sometimes these hoses don't like to flex, but right here you can see I've got a milk carton or you can use a pan. So once you clip the line, then go ahead and place it in the jug and then place the jug wherever you can get it to set level while you can go inside, turn on the ignition and watch the fuel come up through there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the ignition. You can see whenever the fuel comes out and see all the air that's coming.
you can see the air coming out, the ignition. I had the ignition on for quite a while before it started coming out there. But that's how you bleed the fuel system. You can just keep going until it doesn't have any more air bubbles coming out. But you may have to do this several times. Cycle the ignition key over. Just keep doing it until you don't see any of this, these air bubbles coming out because you want to get all that air out of the system. Okay, now the fuel, you can see it, it's quit priming itself. So now I gotta go inside, turn the key off, turn it back on. Okay, so you see there, I just turned the key back on and now it's continuing to bleed itself. Like I said, you want to just keep doing this until you don't see any air coming out. And you can definitely see air bubbles continually to coming out right here. So now I've cycled the key about four or five times. And every once in a while air bubble comes out. Thing is, is one air bubble will cause um, issues with, you know, running issues with your truck. So you want to make sure that you get all the air out. Now I've got about a quarter jug of fuel out and not hardly any air is coming out. I'm probably gonna do it two or three more times. So once you believe that you have all the air out, then go ahead and get your fitting ready with the seals on there. Disconnect where you bled the air out and reconnect your correct fitting back in there. Now I did want to point out that the fitting that I got from the diesel shop was a uh, 18 millimeter but the factory fitting was a 17 millimeter so used two different wrenches to do the swap. Now I went ahead and placed several rags down back behind where I'm going to be letting the bleeder off. And once I had the bleeder pour out I'm going to go ahead and place the, uh, the regular fitting into the position. Get that off. And now make sure that you don't forget your O-rings on there. Now as I'm putting the other fitting on here, I leave it a little loose. I go ahead and go to the uh, key again, turn it on, and let the fuel come out here while um, I'm tightening this up. That way it gets whatever air um, or more air out because some, some will still be in there from taking the fitting off. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's where I've got the ignition on, letting some more air out as I'm tightening up the fitting. The reason why I've got rags around there to catch the fuel that's coming out, but that way you'll get as much air out as possible. So that's basically how you bleed your 6.4 fuel system. Now it should start up fairly quickly. If it doesn't, you might have to bleed it some more. You might not have gotten all the air out of the system. But other than that, thanks for watching my video today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Like it, share it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again.